What's up YouTube world? I wanted to talk to you guys today about meeting clients randomly at the um, mower dealership, repair shop, or other places that you might find clients randomly. Uh, I experienced this the other day, you know, it seemed like a good idea. Gentlemen, uh, you know, waved me down as I was picking some equipment up from the repair shop. Uh, he talked about um, four or five properties. He had their uh, city empty lots. Um, one had a uh, old house on it, but they tore it down and he wanted a price for that so I gave him a fair price so I thought okay um, there's four lots uh, four different mows for each lot uh, I had those four up um, and uh, that's how I got my price well I don't think that's being unreasonable to uh, say it's gonna cost this amount of money each time I figure, you know, it's overgrown now. I'm not going to ask for a lot, you know, up front. I'm going to pick up the trash each time, mow the yards, and that's it. Long story short, uh, he, um, I guess he never called, um, but that's okay. You know, I mean, he probably go through, I don't know, let's say um, four or five people. So every four or five people, you're probably going to close three of them. I mean, mowing's not uh, a high-end uh, sales thing like other um, businesses are. You know, it's real simple. You show up, you you mow, you edge, you blow. Um, if you do a good job, they have you back. If they don't like your service, let's say you may have used a large mower it left uh, turn marks, um, maybe it was too wet to have the heavy mower on the grass or new sod, it may have shifted some of the sod pieces around. You, you really never know. Some customers aren't going to tell you. They're just going to not call you anymore and let it go at that. Well, anyhow, so I get the feeling that this guy would have been a good he seemed to have his stuff together, uh, drove a Range Rover, uh, had uh, properties that he's going to will to his children. Um, so I think it would have been a good fit for my company and him as an individual. You know, he would have been able to pay through PayPal or some service like that. Um, I'm not just going to say what service I use, but PayPal is a real common one. Uh, squares out there. There's all kinds of different merchant accounts that you can go through. You can go through your bank, uh, credit union, and so on. But uh, if you like the content of this subject, like and subscribe. Spread the word. Let other people know uh, that we're talking about more than just what the average lawn care YouTube channel talks about.